Hi, I'm she and welcome back to another episode of Build and Chill. In this episode, we'll be building a fire station. Now keep in mind, my only references for what a fire station looks like come from these three reliable sources. The 1987 film Roxanne, the anime Fire Force, and this YouTube video. I'll be building it in vanilla Minecraft with RTX shaders turned on, but don't worry, it still holds up without the fancy shaders. Without further ado, let's start building. This looks like a good spot to me, so let's start with a base and make a scale model of the final build. This will help us take advantage of the space we have and ensure that we won't forget anything while we're building. I'll go ahead and save that in the structure block for future reference. The apparatus bay will be a highlight of the build, so we'll start designing that first. We'll start with hardened clay for the exterior walls, but we won't get too attached to the color, as it's likely that another block will end up soothing the build better. As you can see here, the interior and exterior walls are different colors. This is something I like to do for my larger builds. Now let's just take a moment and map out the first floor. We're adding a one block space between most walls, leaving room for redstone. We're going to make sure that just about every room has a light switch and, of course, working lights. Let's get some walls set up and add one of the final redstone components, the fire alarm. It will be controlled by this red switch. I think this floor is looking pretty good, so we can put on our engineer hats and make a fire alarm. When activated, these observers will start an endless loop, which will allow the alarm to continuously sound until turned off. Sounds good, and now for the last of the redstone. We've got the walls up, so now we can add windows. The first floor is completed, and don't worry, I'll explain each room once we decorate the interior later in the video. We just added the second floor and I'm just checking to make sure that none of the redstone was compromised. It seems like this room is going to give us the most trouble. It's meant to be a loft, but redstone prevents us from having the walls reach the second floor smoothly. 
Also, as much as I'm trying, I think the poles will have to be scratched from the final design. Oops, it looks like my inventory wasn't visible for the first five minutes of the video. No biggie. If you have any questions about what materials I was using, feel free to ask in the comments. The second floor is shaping up nicely so we can start adding ceilings. Let's make a small chimney for the redstone to reach the second floor. There will be a fire alarm in each area and we want each of them to go off at the same time. So we're making them all linked with the switch on the first floor. I used to hate doing redstone, but now I find it both relaxing and challenging. I'm not a redstone master by any means, but knowing the basics has helped me upgrade so many of my builds. had some time to think about it and the terracotta is causing the rest of the buildings on the street to look washed out and the sandstone is even worse so let's go find some inspiration the seafood restaurant was inspiring for some reason so we'll use that I think that looks so much better, so we'll go ahead and get the roof on and add some skylights. Now let's redo the stairs and add a watchtower.
look at the completed exterior, and now for the inside. We're going to start off designing this conference room at the entrance. This white table is nice, but I think it should be wood. To make these rooms feel more realistic, we're going to give them a messy office vibe. We should probably have a map of the city on the wall, so let's go out and make one. I think this room looks pretty good, so let's move on. We're just going to speed through these bathrooms really quick. Now let's make some office rooms. Again, we're going for a nice cluttered look. These rooms are where paperwork and similar things get done. Personally, it never occurred to me that firemen did paperwork. This area will be where the protective suits and tools are kept for easy access. We'll include a heavy duty washer and dryer as well as steam rooms. Apparently, some stations have steam rooms to help their firefighters detox after being exposed to heavy smoke. And now we make it to the apparatus bay. In some photos, I saw things hanging from the ceiling and I assumed they were either power cords or fire hoses. Let's assume they were hoses because I really like this simple design. All right, let's have this room act as a chief or lieutenant's office. This one's a little messy, but we can deal with that. Now let's move on to the dorms. Let's give each dorm its own personality. Are firemen allowed to decorate their dorms? If you know, please feel free to share in the comments. In fact, feel free to contribute any information that might be interesting on the topic of fire stations. Now it's time for the showers.
Oddly enough, I think this is one of my favorite rooms in the build. And now we can build the gym. In case you didn't know, workout equipment is very difficult to build in Minecraft, but here I think we made it work. Now that the gym is done, we can start building a nice lounge. The first floor will be a kitchen and dining area with a nice sitting space. The upstairs will have a place for activities like table tennis and pool. We'll add a quick coffee bar and safety mats before we head outside for some finishing touches. And finally, it's time to build the fire trucks. We'll build two types and make sure they fit in the bay nicely.
I think we ought to give the truck a working siren. We can attach a bell to this if we want, but the bells are pretty loud, so let's leave them out. Next, we're going to build a type of truck that's meant for off-road terrain. These guys look pretty great together, but they'll look even better at the station, so let's bring them over. I don't have a crew, so let's grab whoever is nearby, which is Kenny the LA, who at the time of editing this video is currently missing in action. Looks like the dogs are already at the station, which means it's time for the grand opening tour of the fire station. So please sit back and enjoy the B-roll. That's it for this video, let me know what you thought in the comments below and please tell me what you want to see next. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.